This video is about percentage mass calculations. To help you with this video, I'd recommend to watch the video on relative formula mass. To calculate the percentage by mass of an element in a compound, you need to do the relative mass of the element divided by the relative formula mass of the compound times by 100 to get the percentage relative mass of the element in that compound. So I've got a couple of examples here which I'll work through with you. So this question says calculate the percentage by mass of sulphur in sulfuric acid. So first of all we need to do the top part of the equation and calculate the relative mass of sulfur. So there is just one sulfur atom in this compound. So we just need to look on the periodic table and see that the mass of sulfur is 32. So for the first part, S for sulfur and the mass is 32. Then we need to find the relative formula mass. So for the relative formula mass, you need to look at each of the elements in the compound. So we've got H, S and O. We've got two H's, one S and four oxygens. So using our periodic table, we'd find the relative atomic mass of each of the elements and multiply it by the number of atoms we've got. So the relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one. The relative atomic mass of sulfur is 32 and the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16. And if we added this all up, we would find the MR of H2SO4, which is 98. Now we've been asked to calculate the percentage by mass of sulfur in sulfuric acid, so in H2SO4. So we need to do the mass of sulfur divided by the relative formula mass times by 100. So we need 32 down here divided by 98. And then we need to times that by 100. So 32 divided by 98 times by 100 is 32.7 percent. So in the compound of H2SO4 there is 32.7 percent sulfur and in another example on the other side we've got iron sulfate which is Fe2SO43 we need to calculate the percentage by mass of iron in iron sulfate. So for the first part we need to know the relative mass of iron in this compound. So there's Fe and there's two of those so we need two times the relative atomic mass of iron which is 56 which can be found on the periodic table. And then we need to find the MR so we need to look at all of the elements of the compound, Fe, S and O. There's two Fe's, there's one times three sulphur and there's four times three, which is 12 oxygens. Now, if you're not sure how I'm calculating this, I do recommend you looking at the relative formula mass video as this will help a lot. But we're simply looking at the number of atoms of each element there are and then multiplying that by the relative atomic mass from the periodic table. So if we add all of these up we will have the relative formula mass for iron sulphate which is adding up the masses of all the atoms and we would find that that is 400. 
So to calculate the percentage by mass of iron in iron sulfate, we need to do 112 divided by 400 times by 100. And we'll find that the percentage of iron in iron sulfate is 28%. So that was just taking the 112 from just the mass of iron, the relative mass of iron, and the relative formula mass here, times 8 by 100, and you get 28%. Just as a fail safe, you need to remember that any time we calculate the percentage for these percentage mass calculations, it will also always be a small number divided by a big number, and then times by 100. So here's a percentage mass question for you to try. You will need a, a periodic table to answer this question. It says calculate the percentage by mass of nitrogen in barium nitrate. Pause the video now and have a go at this. So first of all we need to calculate the relative formula mass of barium nitrate. So to calculate the MR, the relative formula mass, we need to know how many atoms of each element there are in there. So BA, there's one of those. Nitrogen, there are two of those. And oxygen, there are six of those. Using our periodic table, we find the mass of each element. So barium has a mass of 137. Nitrogen has a mass of 14 and oxygen has a mass of 16. So if we add all of these masses up we will find the relative formula mass for barium nitrate. So we've got 137 added to 28 added to 96 makes 261. So that's our relative formula mass, MR equals 261. We've been asked to calculate the percentage by mass of nitrogen in barium nitrate. So the nitrogen that we've got in barium nitrate is 28 because we've got two lots of nitrogen. So to calculate the percentage of nitrogen we need to do 28 divided by the total relative formula mass which is 261 times by 100 and that will give us a percentage by mass of nitrogen of 10.7%. Very well done if you got that right.